Hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Patrice. Thank you for stopping by. And for my returning subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back. So today's video was a request from one of our Crafts and Combos viewers. And if you have never seen Crafts and Combos, join us every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I craft and converse with y'all and hopefully you craft with us as well. All right, so this video is about stickers. So I chose to show how I make packaging stickers for my Etsy shops when I ship orders out. And I'm going to walk you all through the basic steps of making these cute stickers for either your packaging or if you want to place these on products, whatever the case may be. All right. So what we will be using today is, of course, Cricut Design Space and also our Cricut Maker 3. We will be using this Koala Matte Sticker Paper or it's Inkjet Vinyl Sticker Paper. And we will be using some clear sticker paper from OnlineLabels.com. For any of the items that I use, the links will be in the description below. We will also be using our Epson 15,000 using pigment ink and we'll be using a little bit of Patricia Nimix Clear Acrylic Sealer. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so now we're inside of Cricut Design Space and we are going to get ready to make some stickers. So today we will be making some packaging stickers for my Etsy shops and I am going to first start off by creating a rectangle. This will be the template that we use for the print and cut feature with our Cricut. As you guys know, with print and cut, you have to have dimensions of a six and three quarters by nine and a quarter, okay? So right now we're starting with the square and I need to unlock it. You can unlock it here or you can unlock it up here by pressing that button. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. And the width, we want this to be six and three quarters. And the height is going to be nine and a quarter. So we are going to be using a mixture of my logo and some images that we get from Cricut Access. Okay, so let me go ahead and import my logos onto the canvas. And here they are. I think I'm going to use that one too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unclick there. And these are the logos that we're gonna be using. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to put, we'll start with the Craftable Things logo and I want to put a circle around it, but I wanna see what Cricut Access has. So for those of you who are Cricut Access members, this these images are pretty much at no cost. They do have some premium, images that when you get ready to select them you can design with them but once you get ready to print and cut or do whatever it is that you're going to be doing with the Cricut you will be expected to pay for those all right so I'm just looking to see what type of circles they have for me and I think I saw the circle that I want up here we are going to use this one all right, so here we have our circle and I'm going to put the craftable logo inside of there. And we are then going to say something like, thank you for your support. So we will be using this. And I think I wanna change this color, but I don't want a plain color. So I did import earlier this, glitter piece and I think I want to go ahead and try to use that for something. All right, so I brought in this glitter splash and I'm just going to resize it a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to select both of these and I am going to slice it, but I'm going to send 
this to the back. All right, so I'm gonna select both of those and then I'm going to slice. And now I have my glitter circle. I am going to leave that over here to the side and I'm just gonna delete that. All right guys, so now we are going to put in some text and I am going to select text and I think first we are going to say hand made and what I want to do of course is make this smaller so we're going to say hand made and then we are also going to put in hand made from the and I may change the the text so hand made from the heart and then we're going to say heart here and so this is going to go inside but we are definitely going to change this font and the original font this cursive is artist and if you guys have been seeing my latest videos you know that i have been using that a lot so i kind of like this how this font is all right and then thank you is going to be well, i'm going to use those. I'm just going to use those two fonts. I'm going to make craftable a little bit smaller. All right, and so now I'm going to move that down a bit. And then I want to put a small heart. We are going to now, okay, let's do something different. Let's go into images. Instead of drawing the heart, let's see what type of hearts Cricut Access has for us. So they have different kind of shaped hearts that I kind of like. And we can go with... Oh, look at this. Look at the word heart. I could use that in place of how I have it written. But I actually like the way that I have it placed. So we don't need to change it. And so I am going to select this one. And we are going to make this pink. Let me find a pink that I want to use for here. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and group this together for now. And I want to change this red. As you see, we're kind of limited with colors here. So I sometimes pull color swatches and images from online, kind of similar to how I did the glitter. And we are just going to do the same thing. All right, so we're going to bring the heart to the front. Just so I can see it and where it's going to be placed. Let me do a duplicate too. Another duplicate. I'm going to sit this one down here all on the side. And we are going to select both and slice. We're going to hit the slice button. And now I have the color heart that I want. And I'm going to do the same thing for that other copy that I need and slice. We are done with that. And here we have our heart. And so I am just going to kind of make this a little bit smaller, maybe tilt it a bit. Not sure where I want to put it, but maybe here. Yep, I like that. And so I'm make it a little bit smaller and tilt it and we are going to put it here. Now once I did that, I could have just duplicated it and it would have been the same. Alright guys, so this is going to be my packing sticker. Nothing too fancy, but we created this honestly probably within 
five to 10 minutes. And so I'm going to select this. I am going to group it. All right, y'all, so everything is done. We just need to turn this into a sticker. And right now this is still a cut file. So what I want to do first is, is I want to create a, an outline or an offset. Now I can go up here and select offset and make an offset, but I want you guys to see what will happen. So this is pretty much making an offset around every individual component of this image, right? So I don't necessarily want to do that. So I'm not going to make an offset. What I'm going to do is I am going to select shapes and make a circle and expand that circle until it fully covers the image. That looks like that's good. I am going to send it to the back. And that looks like that is pretty, pretty good. All right, so with the offset, the offset is more defined. You will, you will uh, go around the arrows and that sort of thing, but I'm not really concerned about doing that for this particular sticker. So what I want to do now is I'm going to change this color because this is going to be a print then cut and I don't want that to print that color, right? So I am going to now select everything and I am going to flatten it. And so now here's our sticker. And so I'm going to place this. If we want, we can go ahead I'll hide all of this stuff and then we can go ahead and we can just send this to be cut and printed out. All right, so I am just setting this up so that the stickers are cut exactly how I want them to be cut and I'm resizing them to see how well they will fit on the six and three quarters by nine and a quarter template that I have set up because that's the space needed for Cricut to cut them. Okay, so everything looks very, very good right now. All right, y'all, so everything is lined up the way that I wanted and it looks pretty good. So I am just going to go ahead and hide our square because I don't want that to affect the stickers, how they're cut, and I don't need to really flatten it. All right, so let's go on make it. Okay, and everything is here. And so I am going to click continue. We are going to send this to the printer. And I'm going to deselect the bleed option. We want to open up that system dialog because we want to adjust those colors and make sure that the paper setting is correct. And oftentimes when you have Cricut Design Space maximized, the system dialog box goes behind the Cricut app. All right, so we are going to select print settings. I am going to select premium presentation mat. We are going to select best quality. We are using a matte sticker paper. We will also use a glossy, but we are printing on the matte first. And then I want to go and adjust those color options. Click on to advanced settings. I am going to select Adobe RGB and I am going to leave this at a 2.2 gamma. And we are ready to print. So for the material that we will be using today, we will be using printable vinyl because I wanted to kind of give it a kiss cut. The If we use the sticker paper, it will cut straight through and that's not what I'm going for today. So we are going to select printable vinyl. And done. All right, guys, so our stickers are done being printed, and we are just going to place this onto our mat. I am using a standard grip mat today.
All right, so now I'm going to cut the clear sticker paper and you want to make sure that it dries. When I grabbed it out of the printer, I made a mistake and touched that corner a little bit, but I'm hoping that the machine will still be able to read it. So you definitely want to make sure that you let it dry before handling it. So we're all done with printing and cutting these quick and easy stickers that we made in Cricut Design Space and we sent to our Cricut Maker. And I love how these came out. These are the white matte stickers and these are the clear glossy stickers. All right. So you can place these on almost anything because I made these for packaging. I did not seal it with anything. I did spray the clear ones with some clear acrylic sealer. And the sealer that I use is Patricia Nemix clear acrylic sealer. And this works beautifully for me. However, if these were stickers that I had plans on selling, I would definitely put laminate on top of it. And to place the laminate on top, what you want to do is you want to make sure you only cover the end set of the square. You don't want that laminate to go on top of the read lines. This is how your Cricut reads your paper and knows exactly where to cut. And sometimes the laminate can throw your machine off and it will not be able to cut it correctly. All right. So let me show you how I will use these. So for the clear stickers, I sometimes put on the bottom of my tumblers and usually with the epoxy tumblers, I'll cover that part with the epoxy and have it sealed underneath. And it goes really, really well because once the epoxy is on top, you can't even tell any of the cut lines of the sticker. But I love how this came out. So if you are sending packages out, you can definitely place stickers like on the bottom in the corner. You can place them on the back and have it go like a nice extra seal. You, you can also use the clear ones especially this the clear ones work really well if you have a colorful package so that way you won't even be able to tell the white but white on white does not look bad so i made this white but you can make your offset any color your offset doesn't have to be white i like how the white looks especially when it's kind of shaped around the actual image but you can make your your background any color you want So that is it for us today and our stickers are so cute. I absolutely love them. If you are not ready to make stickers just yet, you can find pre-made stickers on designbundles.net. I will have another video showing how to access those stickers and to use those. In addition, I will also show how to create stickers inside of Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around. In addition, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join us there. We would love to have you you on all social media platforms but that's it for today guys thank you all so much for watching until next time